we're on the Stray Park and this is one of the tributaries of the Mekong. Gonna get the drone up, get a look around. It's right above us now. So looking straight down, I can see the road, I can see the house. I'm interested in fishing the river, but you can see the river, how big it is, how, how hard it is to access, how murky it is. It's very difficult to understand what's going on in the river by looking at it. It's impossible. So I use whatever methods I can, you know, talking with fishermen to get their uh, thoughts, to get their impressions, to hear about what they're catching, uh, using tags, tagging fish to follow their migrations, and using drones to get up in the air and get a larger perspective. I mean, especially the, the Mekong is, is an interconnected system. You have the Tonle Sap Lake connected to the Tonle Sap River, connected to the Mekong, connected to the upland tributaries where we are right now. So it's hard to appreciate how connected everything is. And using the drone, I can get up above and see those connections. It's especially important now during the rainy season when most of the area around me is flooded. The other day I was using the drone above the Tonle Sap Lake. I mean, there are entire communities living in floating villages on the Tonle Sap Lake. And the best way to appreciate life on the lake is to get up above and see it from the air. On the Mekong, there are a lot of different issues at play, complex issues, a lot of different perspectives and different ways to approach the problems and the challenges and the questions. Wonders of the Mekong focuses on the many different kinds of values of a healthy, connected Mekong River. And so looking at all of those different values, uh, you know, from different perspectives and different ways, trying to understand them, uh, coming at them from different approaches, that's what this project's all about.